Yes, yeah, so good afternoon. My name is Eric Sanders from the Sanders Firm PC. And I want to comment about this driver who breached the White House gate. Unlike the way the Marion Carey story was handled by the mainstream media, you barely heard anything about this gentleman breaching the White House gate. The difference here is this gentleman actually drove behind the motorcade where they had the presidential daughters in the vehicle and actually drove onto the White House property before he was stopped by the Secret Service. Now, it's interesting how the way they handle this case as opposed to Mary Carey. In this case, this Caucasian male was able to drive onto the property. First of all, he wasn't even stopped in the first place at the gate. And then he was able to go into the property. He was stopped in the company line, at least the government line here is that he was lost and confused, although he was a United States Treasury employee. Um, contrast on how they handled the Miriam Carey case. You heard all kind of different versions. She rammed the gate. She uh, shot at the police. She's a terrorist. She may have a bomb in the car. They didn't even give her the benefit of doubt like they gave this gentleman. Meanwhile, Mary Carey didn't even go into the White House grounds or even breach the gate. What she did is she made a U-turn. And then she, they chased her and really chased her down until it got to a point and the discharge of weapons resulted in her death. Now, no one is really talking about that much, but you just look at the way these two cases are handled. One person was a person of color and the other person was Caucasian. Now the question arises, did race play a factor? That's what the inquiry reminds me of. Did race play a factor in the way the Mary case, can, case was handled by the United States Secret Service Uniform Division as well as the U.S. Capitol Police? And that's what we're trying to pursue. Justice for Mary and Carrie.